Good evening. The conjoined twins, who were recently separated by surgery in a London hospital, have arrived home. They'll now be cared for at Cork University Hospital. It was a flight the Ben Haffa family had dreamed of, but feared might never happen. In the glare of the cameras, an Air Corps flight from London touched down in Cork this afternoon, bringing home mum Angie, dad Azadine, daughters Malika and Aman, and of course the twins. Five-month-old Hussain and Hassan had left Ireland joined from the chest to the pelvis, but returned home successfully separated and in excellent health. The family didn't speak to the media at Cork Airport, but it was clear to all how it felt to be home. They're just on air. They're, they're so happy, so excited. They're bringing the boys back home, you know. This is where they belong, you know. This is where we want them, you know, in Cork, you know. It's like winning the lotto. That was, that's what it feels like to us, you know. Nothing will ever compare to them two boys coming home. It's extraordinary, it's just fantastic um, because I can recall well the, the morning that they left her. Um, I was on the tarmac as well and I suppose we were wondering to be, if we were honest and, and, and knew the challenges that were ahead. It's just so fantastic to see them arrive back um, healthy. Next stop for the twins was Cork University Hospital. We hope that they'll only need to be with us for a couple of days. Uh, we just get them back into being part of a normal family um, and just start treating them as two separate little boys now. The twins, who now each have one leg, were separated at Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in London after a 14-hour operation. If nothing had been done, they would have lived for many years. Um, they would almost certainly not have had a normal lifespan. Uh, they would never have been able to stand. They would never have walked independently and life would have been pretty grim. The boys' recovery still has a long way to go, but they should be able to start their new lives at home in Caratuol in the next few days. Stephen Murphy, TV3 News.